possessed you to do such a thing. Then you might have discussed it with me first. But no. You rush into these things like a bull at a gate. You just don't stop to think. Before we know where we are, you've gone ahead and done it. Oh, you're so impetuous. Sometimes I think you ought to go and get your head examined. Well, aren't you pleased? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I am except in need of a drink. And it's going to be a strong one. Brand is the best thing for shock, isn't it? Control yourself, June. I mean, don't get so het up. I mean, there's no need to make such a fuss. I've only bought a boat. <laughs> <laughs> only? Might I ask you exactly what you think you're going to do with it? But what do people usually do with boats? Know something about them, for a start. Well, what is there to know? I mean, it's got an engine, you drive it like a car. I mean, the only difference is, instead of being on the road, you're on the water. It floats, June. <laughs> I'm perfectly well aware of what a boat does. But you've never handled one in your life. Except on the lake in Regent's Park. <laughs> and then you drove it as if you were on the Dodgem cars. <laughs> you can't compare little children's boat with a 28-foot twin-engine four-berth cabin cruiser. Oh, oh my God! God. Well, sit down. I'll, I'll show it to you. You haven't brought it home with you, <laughs> have you? <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's down at Chichester, where, where Bill Turner had it moored. What? Bill Turner, that rogue at your office? He is not a rogue. He's one of our top salesmen. Well, that's easy with people like you around. <laughs> now, do you remember your very first motor car? He sold you that, didn't he? Oh, no, that was different. That was just a little runaround. Runaround? It never went anywhere except in for repair. <laughs> but Bill Turner is, is, is as honest as the day is long. I mean, he, he's doing me a favour. He told me so himself. <laughs> you, you wait till you see it. Hmm. Terry, can I just ask you one thing? Why is he actually selling it? Oh, well, that's simple. He wants something better. I'm sure he does. <laughs> look, June, just look at it. A demon water sprite of the Avenger class. What's it called? Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, looks all right. Does it go? Well, of course it goes. He's been everywhere in it. France, the Mediterranean. And just think, Jumi, we could sail into any harbour in the world and have the holiday of a lifetime. Just how much did you have to pay for this ocean-going luxury liner? Well, sit down, June. I'll get you another drink. As much as that, was it? No, 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 no. It was a bargain, an absolute slip. I mean, you, you'll be amazed when I tell you the price. All right. I'm ready. Well, June... <clears throat> What you do, you have to take into account all our holidays over the next uh, 10 or 15 years. You mean we can't afford them anymore? No, no, you have to bear in mind what it would cost to fly abroad every year and stay in the best hotels for two or three weeks. Well, it's something we've never done. No, but if we did. <laughs> if we did, I mean, just think how, how much it would work out at. Well, I suppose for the two of us, it would no, be no, no, something... No, 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 the whole family. Uh, and we'd have to take Lucy as well, and there's Debbie and Susie. Oh, Terry, that'd cost a fortune. Right, quite. <laughs> quite. That is my point, but this way, we're doing it on the cheap. How much? Well, <laughs> I can't recall the exact figure, but um, leaving out the odd... Um, in the neighborhood of uh, roughly around about three or four. Hundred. Nearly, nearly. <laughs> try, try, try the next thing. Thousand? Sort of. <laughs> Terry, do you mean to say you've spent four thousand pounds of our hard earned money on a silly boat? It is not a silly boat. It's, anyway, it's not four thousand anyway. Oh, well, that's good. Four and a half. <laughs> Harry, what have you done? I bought a boat. With our savings? Well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do anything worth it. They're just lying there. I mean, there's not much point in having money these days. I mean, the, the pound is sinking fast. Oh, let's hope the boat doesn't. <laughs> That's sheer extravagance. What on earth do we want with a boat? We are a seafaring nation, June. I mean, it's in our blood. Nilsson, Drake, Frobisher, 
They all messed about with votes. I mean, you know, there, there, there's, there's Sir Admiral Hood, Horatio Hornblower, Ted Heath. Oh, the list is endless. I mean, look at Francis Chichester. He, he sailed round the world on his own. Off you go, then. <laughs> no, this is something the whole, the whole... All of us can share it. The whole family. A sturdy crew. Top the mainsail. Batten down the hatches. Look out for the device behind. Well, that's something you've got. <laughs> I, can, I can feel the spray now. So can I. I, 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 can, <laughs> I can taste the salty taste of the salt water on my lips. Oh, oh that's the life, June. <laughs> oh, time to splice the main brace. <laughs> can I come in? Oh, stand by to repel all boarders. <laughs> it's the sherry pirate. Pardon, dear? All right, you know where the treasure's buried, don't you, love? <laughs> Is it some sort of game you're playing? Oh, I wish it was, Lucy. Do you know what he's gone and done? What? Bought a boat. Oh, is it in a bottle? <laughs> Trust you to think of that. No, no, it's a proper one, a, a big one. <laughs> a four and a half thousand pound one. How much? Oh, don't you start. Now sit down and drink your sherry. Terry seems to think it would be nice for us all to sail off to the Mediterranean. Oh, that sounds exciting. Oh, not yet, love. We, we, we may not be able to do that. I mean, she, she, she may need a complete overhaul. <laughs> oh, but I had one only the other day, dear. The doctor said no, I was... Not you, dear. The boat. You see, a ship is always referred to as she. I thought we might pop down this weekend and look her over. Oh, you're forgetting Debbie will be home this weekend. Well, she'll love it. I may as well give Susie a ring as well. We, we could all go and stay on the boat. Well, that'll be five of us. I thought you said it was a four-berth cabin. Well, somebody have to sleep on deck. Hmm. Lucy's very fond of fresh air, aren't you, love? <laughs> I remember once when Percy and I went sailing up the Ganges. Here we go, the tale of the ancient mariner. <laughs> oh, I shall never forget it. I was leaning back, trailing my hand in the water, when suddenly this crocodile swam up alongside. Oh, how awful! Oh, it was, dear. The wretched thing snapped at my hand. Lucy, you never told me that before. Which one? I don't know. Those crocodiles all look the same to me. <laughs> don't go back to India, dear. Come on, it's down here somewhere. Place, isn't it? But isn't it crowded? I never realized there were so many people as dark as your father. Oh, golly, is that it? I must admit, it's better than I expected. Fantastic! It's beautiful! There she is. Don't hang about. One. Don't be ridiculous. You'd have to be a millionaire to own a thing like that. Come on, girls. Get aboard. Yes, Admiral. Any more for the Skylark? Hop on, June. Aren't you going to pipe us aboard? I'll crack a bottle of champagne over your head if you don't get a move. <laughs> Lucy, this is very exciting. It's a very happy moment. Is it, dear? Yes. <laughs> Can we go downstairs? Quiet, June. Somebody might hear you. What's wrong? It's not downstairs. It's below decks. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, Lucy. Oh, Terry, it's moving. I don't think I can make it. Oh, do come on, Long John Silver. <laughs> My stick's gone in the water. <laughs> well, go and get it. <laughs> Debbie, isn't it sweet? Yes. It reminds me of my old doll's house. Yes, there's not much room, is there? Now, where's the kitchen? Oh, here it is, Mum, but I think you call it a galley. Yes, and I know who'll be the galley slave. Oh, dear. Has it got everything? I doubt it. Now, where's the fridge? You'll be lucky. Mm. Oh, well, Mum, you've always wanted a dream kitchen. I wish the whole thing was a dream, really. Ahoy there! Dude! Girls, can someone help me down? Yes, dear. Oh, Careful, God. Lucy. Now, mind how you go. Well, I haven't got to my sea legs yet. <laughs> where's Terry? Uh, go on fishing. <laughs> fishing? Uh, for my stick, dear. It uh, went into the water. Well, now, uh, which is my room? <laughs> <laughs> You're standing in it. 
would you like the bottom bunk? Yes, yes. Oh, oh, under there. Yes. Yes. Oh, for an hour. How is quite nice to get, get in? I should try um, head first, Auntie. Yes. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, dear. <laughs> I always travel with my back to the engine. Where is it? Well, I don't really know. I think it's at the back, uh, if there is one. <laughs> um, but I shouldn't worry. We won't be going anywhere this weekend. Oh, right, eh? Come on. Give me how these cases. All right, give up. Ah! <laughs> well, well, well. Isn't this just dinky? <laughs> I knew it reminded me of something. <laughs> Toys Frank used to play with. What do you say, dear? Where, where are you, June? In the dining room. Oh, oh where, where, the, where the devil's Lucy? I'm here, dear. <laughs> oh, don't you look cozy? <laughs> Where's my stick? I couldn't reach it. I'll, I'll try again later. There we go. Oh, let's get organized. Have you started lunch yet, June? Oh, give me a chance. We've only just come on board. Oh, okay, can move on, or shall I say, show a leg? <laughs> You're supposed to be the ship's cook, remember? Oh, yes, I know. Who's your first mate then? Oh, that was Angela Vickers. <laughs> I think. I'm stuck. Oh, oh, give, 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 give me a hand, dear. Uh, that's it. Come on, right. No, 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 no. It's all right, dear. Now don't panic. There, that, that was easy, isn't it? There. Now, soon get used to it. Now, all right. Okay. Do you want oh. any help, Mum? Yes, dear. Where's the bag with the food in it? Oh, I'll get it. I think I'll go up for it and have a look round. I want to go to the cloakroom. Yeah, uh, <laughs> get out the way now. Out the way, please. Hey, don't push that. Well, sit down, somebody. Uh, let me through, please. Here's the food, Mum. Oh, thanks, dear. Now, Debbie, you lay the table. Okay, okay Mum. Make way for the captain, please. Yeah, me too. The little wait, Dad. Good for you, Debbie. Oh, please let me get through. Oh. Whose idea was this? Now, for heaven's sake. I've only been in, in the command of the boat for five minutes now. Already I've got a mutiny on my hand. <laughs> Lucy, what the hell have you pulled? <laughs> uh, Debbie, would you pass the cup of coffee, please? Mm, there you are, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and next time, June, remember to keep the door of that cupboard closed. Don't go on about it. I'll buy some more. Good. Well, our first made afloat. Ah, you give us proud, June. Uh, very tasty, those pork sausages and those fried mushrooms. <laughs> went, <laughs> went down an absolute treat. <laughs> Excuse me. What, what do you want now, dear? I don't think I feel very well. What are you going to do when we get out to sea? Wave to you from the shore. <laughs> Come on, June, let her get out, for heaven's sake. Oh! <laughs> oh! You're making a habit of that, dear. Uh, damn silly way to build a boat. Oh, I must have some fresh air. Now, Lucy, would you like one of the windows open? Yes. Portholes. And the same for you. <laughs> Come on, now, let Lucy out. Oh, I do miss my stick. Yes, couldn't you get it for her, dear? Well, I'll pop next door to one of the neighbours and see if I can borrow a boat hook. No. I'd rather have my stick. No, to... To hook it out with. Oh, lock her in the loo, June. <laughs> my lips again. Can I come with you, Dad? No, you stay here and help your mother wash up. Oh, you needn't bother. There are hardly any plates left to wash. Oh, come on. Well, I just think I'll pop next door and make myself known to our friends on the stern. Oh, don't be long, Popeye. <laughs> you can scuff, June. You just under, don't understand the ways of the sea. You'll never appreciate what it takes to make a good sailor. <laughs> Tone the crow's nest. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone at home? Mm. Yes? Oh, oh, there you are. I thought for a minute I was on board the Marie Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we ordered any fish, did we? <laughs> Pardon? 
Are you on the right boat? This is the Opal Princess. Oh, I'm the Nancy from next door. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> Quite a nice little tub you've got here. Well, mm. we like it. Mm. Was there something you wanted? Uh, yes, I, I just acquired the little craft off your bow. Oh, Bill Turner's her boat. Mm. Yes, he told me he was thinking of ditching, uh, of disposing of it. <laughs> so you're the new owner? Yes, uh, Fletcher, Terence Fletcher. Ah, <laughs> Cowpop, James. Oh, uh -huh. nice to meet you, Mr. James. No, James Cowpop. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Are you here on your own? No, no, I've got my wife on board and my two daughters, Debbie and Susie, and, of course, my wife's Aunt Lucy. <laughs> We've all got one, haven't we? <laughs> got what? Uh, an Aunt Lucy. I haven't. Oh. Well, you're lucky. Between you and me, she's a bit of a pain in the stern. <laughs> yes, she's the reason I popped over here. Um, you haven't by any chance got a boat hook, have you? She's not in the drink, is she? <laughs> oh, yeah, all the time. Sherry, brandy, you name it. Uh, no, no, I meant water. Oh, she never touches that. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you mean this, this water? <laughs> oh, no, but her stick is, you see. She dropped it when we were boarding, and I can't quite reach it. Oh, well, my crew could lend you one. Oh, you've got a crew, have you? Yes, yes, he's a good chap. McGregor! Aye, sir? A fellow here needs a boat hook. Ah, very good, sir. Look, uh, we usually have drinks around about six-ish, if you care to join us. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Cleethorpe. Uh, Colthorpe. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Is it all right if I, if I bring the wife as well? Yes, yes, of course, all of you. Uh, my son and his friend will be here by then, and I'm sure they'd like to meet your girls. Me what? Oh, girls! Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, they're great fun, Debbie and Susie. <laughs> and you'll love June. Everybody does. <laughs> Well, when I say everybody loves it, I mean, I don't mean they don't. She isn't. No, not, no, no. Not. Uh, is this for you, sir? Oh, thank you. Oh, very kind of you. Oh, it's nice to know we have such very friendly neighbours. But there we are. We sons of the sea have a tradition to uphold. What was it old Nelson said? England expects every man to do his duty. <laughs> well, I'll just go along and do mine, eh? Uh, oh. Let me know how much it is. Uh, invisible men, it'll it won't show, will it? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so the sailor said, I popped into the poop, had a peep, and popped out again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good. Uh, I've got another one then. You see, there, there were these two girls uh, um, marooned on a desert island with this one sailor, you see. So one girl turned to the other and said, um, After you with the salt. <laughs> <laughs> Another drink, Mrs. Fletcher. Oh, no, thank you. I've had quite enough. Mm -hmm. I think we all have. <laughs> <laughs> we really ought to be going. Oh, there's no hurry. They're just getting to know each other. What a charming boy your son is. Yes, he's a good chap. Uh, Robin, you are all right for drinks over there? Oh, yes, thanks, Dad. Terry? Uh, yes, dear? Uh, I don't get it. What? What? Your joke. Can you explain it to me? <laughs> Well, you see, a sailor is always known as a salt, you see. So when the girl said, No, dear, I mean the one about popping into the pool. <laughs> Some other time, dear. Yes. How long have you had this lovely ship, Mr. Colton? Oh, well, it's hardly a ship, Mrs. Fletcher. I've had the Opal Princess all about three years, I suppose. Ah, let me know if you're ever thinking of selling it, will you? <laughs> Darling, we can hardly afford the boat we've got. <laughs> How do you find her? Easy to handle? Well, like most wives, a bit difficult at times, you know. <laughs> He means the boat, dear. Oh, oh, that. Well, actually, we haven't been out for a spin yet, but I was. I was <laughs> contemplating upping anchor tomorrow. Ah, well, we're heading for France tomorrow just for a couple of days. Oh, that's a good idea, June. No, thank you. Well, don't, be, don't be silly. Be a, France will be a marvellous trip. W w which way is it? <laughs> well, it's usually over there. But I wouldn't advise it for a first voyage. Have you got any charts? N no, I've got a big map. And if, if, if we got lost, I mean, we could always ask the way, couldn't we? But I wouldn't even leave the harbour, if I were you. Oh, hang on, I mean, if you're, you're going across, perhaps we could follow you. Uh, with all due respect, I don't think you could match our speed. Oh, well, perhaps you could give us a tow. <laughs> he doesn't mean it, does he, Mrs. Fletcher? Uh, no, I'm sure he doesn't. <laughs> Dad, do you yeah. think Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher would mind if Susan and Debbie came along with us? No, why not? There's plenty of room. Would you mind awfully, Mrs. Fletcher? Well, I really don't know. I... Oh, please, Mum. We won't be away for long. If you're sure it'll be all right. Well, of course, and there's nothing to worry about it. We've done it dozens of times. D don't you want to come with me? With you? <laughs> you're not going to France, are you, Dad? We might do. Oh, dear. 
Is there a train back to London tonight? <laughs> now, don't you worry, Lucy. We're not going anywhere. Well, what do you mean I bought a boat for? To set up on exciting voyages of discovery. You haven't even discovered if it goes yet. Well, you, you leave the technical details to me. Oh, no. That settles it. Please, can we go with Mr. Castle? It would be nice for them, darling. Oh, right. I don't mind. Oh, oh right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see you over there, then. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, what time, what time are we sailing? Well, we hope to catch the morning tide. Oh, what a good idea, yes. Mm. Yes, I, I think it's set fair. Mm. High cumulus. Mm. Visibility fair to middling. Mm. Not much of a swell. What sort of wind have we got? Mm. No, no. You should have tried to eat some breakfast, dear. Oh, I couldn't. I never really felt at home on the sea. <laughs> I don't think we'll be seeing much of the sea. Are you sure you wouldn't rather stay at the hotel? Oh, no, dear. I promised Terry I'd see it through. We shan't need our passport, shall we? I don't think so. Not for the Isle of Wight. Oh. <laughs> Good job I managed to talk him out of going to France. Yes, I expect the girls are having a nice trip now. Yes, they should be well on their way. <laughs> a pass, <laughs> now! <laughs> hey, is that you, Terry? Well, well, of course it's me. Where on earth did you get all that clobber? Oh, from a little shop on the quay. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do I look? <laughs> <laughs> Very Louis Mountbatten. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But did you have to buy quite so much? Well, I might need it here, up on deck, at the helm. <laughs> and it wasn't cheap, either. Uh, uh, up on deck at the helm in all weathers. Besides... <laughs> besides, dear... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Besides, all, all my other clothes got wet, didn't they? <laughs> now, come on. Let's stir away all our luggage and cast off on our maiden voyage. Oh, I hope we don't run into any icebergs. <laughs> they say it's bad luck to have a woman on board. You've even bought your own albatross. <laughs> now, now, come on, June. Show a leg. Right. Now, uh, what do you want me to do? Well, untie the boat, of course. Aye, aye, sir. Now, Lucy, you stay here below decks, huh? Uh, do I have to fasten a seatbelt? <laughs> no, just sit still and relax. Right. Come on, all hands on deck. <laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs> Cast off your aft. First time. Look lively there. Yeah, I can't undo the knot. What? The knot. Oh, hang on. <laughs> now what? On board, of course. Right. Oh, not the rope. June, you. Why don't you use your. Oh, heck. Are you sure you wouldn't like a cup of tea or anything, dear? No, nothing. Just a drop of brandy. <laughs> I don't think we've got any. Didn't even give us a rum ration. <laughs> we've stopped. Why have we stopped? Lord knows, but at least we haven't eaten anything. Terry! 
I knew it. The engine's conked out. Oh, dear. Well, I forgot to look. Which deck is the lifeboat on? <laughs> we haven't got one, dear. But I can't swim. Now, don't worry, Lucy. Oh, look, Terry will know what to do. After all, he was in the Navy. Now, now, now don't panic. There is no cause for alarm. Whatever we do, we mustn't panic. Why, what is it? We're marooned. What? <laughs> It's that, it's that blasted engine. I can't get it started. We're, we're stranded, June. Well, what do you expect us to do? Get out and push? It, can't you suggest something sensible? Uh, yes. Is there some kind of nautical AA? No. No, there isn't. We'll have to send up a distress signal. Don't you need a flare for that sort of thing? Mm. June, it is no joke. <laughs> I thought it was rather good in the circumstances. <laughs> Why? Oh, don't you start. Just just my luck we ship it with you two. Oh, it's hardly a wreck, darling. Mm. You're carrying on as if it was a Poseidon adventure. Well, we, we can't stay stranded here all day. We must get help. Mm, I did warn you about this boat. Good job we didn't set off for France. Oh, now, shut up, will you? Where, where are the rockets? Oh. <laughs> You're not in there. Now, where, where's the nearest lighthouse? Oh. Haven't you got anything that you could run up the mast? Yeah, you, if you don't be quiet. <laughs> Oh, yes. Bill Tanner said there was some radio equipment somewhere. Now, where is it? No, it's not. It's... Oh! Oh. oh! That's about the fifth time you've done that. Oh. If we ever see land again, I should have those bumps red. Oh, oh dear, where is it? <laughs> it's just not our day, is it? Why didn't you remind me what that was? Excuse me. Where, where are you going? What's the matter? I'm sorry, dear, but I must. No, go. no, not now, dear. What? Not while the boat is stationary. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, is that it, darling? Oh, well done, June. Now stand back. Now get out of the way. Oh, good. Can we have Wagoner's Walk? <laughs> Mayday, Mayday, this is me, Mayday, Mayday. Hang on to yourself, Lucy, won't be long now. Mayday, help, help, Mayday. I'm very serious about this. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. And stay with us as we set sail for Albert Square. Next. <laughs> to do such a thing. But you might have discussed it with me first. But no. You rush into these things like a bullet a gate. You just don't stop to think. Before we know where we are, you've gone ahead and done it. Oh, you're so impetuous. <sighs> Sometimes I think you ought to go and get your head examined. Well, aren't you pleased? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I am except in need of a drink. And it's going to be a strong one. Brand is the best thing for shock, isn't it? Control yourself, June. I mean, don't get so het up. I mean, there's no need to make such a fuss. I've only bought a boat. <laughs> <laughs> only? Might I ask you exactly what you think you're going to do with it? But what do people usually do with boats? Know something about them for a start. Well, what is there to know? I mean, it's got an engine, you drive it like a car. I mean, the only difference is, instead of being on the road, you're on the water. It floats, June. <laughs> I'm perfectly well aware of what a boat does. But you've never handled one in your life. Except on the lake in Regent's Park. <laughs> and then you drove it as if you were on the Dodgem cars. <laughs> you can't compare little children's boat with a 28-foot twin-engine four-berth cabin cruiser. Oh, my God! <laughs> Sit down. I'll show it to you. 
You haven't brought it home with you, have you? <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's down at Chichester, where, where Bill Turner had it moored. What? Bill Turner, that rogue at your office? He is not a rogue. He's one of our top salesmen. Well, that's easy with people like you around. <laughs> now, do you remember your very first motor car? He sold you that, didn't he? Oh, no, that was different. That was just a little run around. Run around? It never went anywhere except in for repair. <laughs> but Bill Turner is, is, is as honest as the day is long. I mean, he, he's doing me a favour. He told me so himself. <laughs> you, you wait till you see it. <laughs> Terry, can I just ask you one thing? Why is he actually selling it? Oh, well, that's simple. He, he won't.